Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for September, so it's at any time in September, so keep that in mind. So what do we have for Pisces now? Also, not every reading is for you. Well, there we go. We got three. Gavel, involvement with the law. So you may be dealing with law, contracts, the legal system, something like that. There's going to be involvement with the law. Broken ring, parting of the ways in either romance or business. So there's going to be a parting of the ways. I, psychic ability. Trust your intuition. Really trust your intuition. I have to let you know, before I started this reading, I was sitting here, getting ready to do it. I was going, let's get this party started. Let's get this party started. Trust your intuition. I heard that too. So let's get this party started, why don't we? I did it a couple times and my, my little girl said, what are you, she's hollered from a room, mom, what are you doing? So I'm getting ready, I'm getting ready. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> there you go. What do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? Well, spring, spring. Things blossom in the spring. Something may have started in the spring. Okay, it's spring is what? March, April, May, part of June. Spring is very prominent. What do we have for Pisces? Messenger. Something to do with messenger. You're probably going to receive a message or you have been communicating with somebody through messenger or somebody else has. Messenger is prominent. Whether you're going to, you could be getting a message. Birds are messengers. When you see birds, there's a message that is coming. Not always when you see a bird. Like the other day I had a bird fly right up yesterday fly right up to my window. I was sitting right next to the window outside and it literally sat right there and pecked at the window. Peck, 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 peck. That was definitely means that there's something that's coming. Anyhow, um, mm, interesting, before I show you this card, I'm gonna tell you what else came to my mind. I was sitting here and I didn't wanna mention it, but I guess I have to now considering this card that just came out. You desperate? You desperate, Pisces? Are you desperate? Because it feels like you, you need to choose wisely. It feels like you, I don't know if you've chosen somebody out of desperation. You know, if, and you need to be careful with your choices because it's like, what I heard was, what would your mother think? What would, if your mother, I don't know if your mother's passed away or, or not all mothers are created equal. Okay, I just gotta bring that up. We have some mothers that all they care about is money and they, you know, they get a nanny for their kids and they don't even raise their kids. Okay, so, hey, that's not really a mother. Um, but anyhow, um, what would your mother say? What would your mother say about your current pick? All right, take that into consideration. Um, there could also be mother issues here because I, I wanted to mention your mother, something about your mother. Um, I was looking in the camera getting ready and I was thinking about my mother and it was interesting because I was getting ready to do your reading something about my beautiful mother and that's what brought all this into play anyhow so something about a mother and um, then I thought well and I was definitely about you guys and getting ready to do your reading and I was all getting geared up to do the Pisces reading and I thought what would your mother say it feels like you've chosen some don't be desperate with your choice because you're only going to get yourself into trouble when you choose somebody out of desperation, you know, and you don't even know them, it's going to lead to problems, maybe legal problems, you know, you don't know your value, you don't know your value. So there is, there is somebody here that doesn't know their value. That's the card that came out. And I was thinking about, 
are you desperate? Are you de I'm not desperate. I'm good. You know, and it wasn't about me. I was getting ready to do your reading. Yeah. Um, so there's desperation here. You know, know your value. Know your value. Okay. They really miss you a lot. There's somebody here that really, really, really misses you a lot. Maybe it's your mother. If your mother has passed away, something about your mother. But anyway, there's somebody else here as well probably that misses you a lot. Parting of the ways in either ro romance or business. Involvement with the law. You need to trust your intuition. It feels like you don't know your value. You really don't know your value. That's sad. You are valuable. And it's, it, that's what I really wanted to say was that you are valuable. That did come to my mind. You are valuable. You are. I know that you are. Maybe, maybe there's a lack of a mother's love that made you feel like you weren't valuable or that you had to choose just anybody. I guess this is it. Ooh, it's a good one. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations bring you together. So I feel like you have a soulmate here. You've probably been calling in your soulmate, okay? Your prayers, your affirmations, and visualizations bring you together. Free yourself. You need to free yourself from your current situation. Look at we got somebody here that's in a cage. They need to break free. You need to you need to get yourself free of the current situation that you're in. You do, you're trapped. But you have the means to escape. This is kind of like the Eight of Swords. It's time to break free. It's time to take back control of your life. Break free. Free yourself from this situation. There's obviously a soulmate here that you've been praying for. You know, you've been praying for this soulmate. But maybe you don't know your value. You're going to stay in this situation where you're caged up and you're trapped and you're feeling all alone. What do we have for Pisces? Ooh, I just cut it to the Three of Swords. So that is a broken heart. This is broken heart. This is painful. I don't know if there's a painful separation here. Next, the other card is the Two of Wands. That is indecisiveness. Should I stay or should I go? I feel like you're in a place of indecision right now. You're trying to decide whether you should stay or go. We definitely do have a broken heart here. This is heartache. It is grief. It is suffering. This is a painful separation. This is grieving. You know? And what do we have for Pisces? Heartbroken. Heartbroken or heartbreaking. There's something here that is heartbreaking. I feel like you're you're being confined or you're confining yourself to some sort of cage. Ooh, it's interesting because this is like I'm not happy anymore. The four of wands reversed. This is not good as you expected. The party is over. This is a failure. This is a disaster. This is like leaving home, uprooting. Um wanting to move on, maybe wishing things could go back to the way things were, you know, wishing that you didn't get involved in some sort of commitment that you got yourself involved in. This is a sad farewell. This is family discord or family arguments, you know. I feel like there's restlessness, there's restlessness, disillusionment over a commitment, really, really, really not happy. This is like leaving home, uprooting. You may not be fitting in. Maybe you don't fit in with the family or you don't fit in with the people that you are around or you don't fit in with the whole situation. It's like this is a lack of success. This is failing to achieve. This is not as good as you had hoped, you know. I feel like um, maybe you feel maybe you feel like you did it all for nothing. Maybe you built a foundation and you feel like you did it all for nothing. Some of you may be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be, but this is about financial stability. 
Um, I do feel like you probably have an opportunity for stability. Maybe you guys are just focusing on your money right now, but you're in some sort of situation that is obviously it's very discontent. There's family issues, family problems. Problems with the foundation, with the four, problems with the commitment. This party is over. This is a messy situation. This is the four of wands reverse is trouble in paradise. Maybe I hope I don't know if you were desperate and got yourself involved with somebody. It's interesting because I was I was watching, you know, I have Facebook. I don't have very many people on there because I I don't I don't I just don't have very many people in. But anyhow, um I do have a Pisces on there and uh man and he pursued me like I don't know, six months ago. And I said no because I just did. Anyhow, um, but I've been watching because that's what we do on Facebook, right? And he's pursuing this girl, and this girl's not interested. And I feel bad for him. But he's really pursuing her hard. She's playing with him. She's completely, I'm watching the situation unfold. She's playing with him. It's wrong. It's wrong. So... And he's trying. He's trying really, really hard. He's the Pisces. He's, he's really telling her he loves her. He's trying really hard. She's just playing with him. I'm just watching it unfold. She needs attention. So anyway, I want you to be aware. I want you to be aware. And he's giving it. And she's just like totally not giving him much. And it pisses me off. It really pisses me off. So anyhow, um, you deserve more. You deserve more than that. You deserve reciprocation. You deserve somebody's going to put as much into you as you put into them. That can give you stability. That wants commitment. That you know can add value to your life. Anyhow, what do we have for Pisces? Five of Pentacles reversed. Emperor. Some of you are dealing with an Aries. Star reversed. This is underneath the Four of Wands reversed. This is not wish fulfillment. This is not what you asked for. This is not happiness. Star card reversed. Feeling hopeless. There's poor health here. There's doubt. There's depleted. There's no faith. There's abandonment. There's neglect. With the Five of Pentacles reverse, feeling abandoned, feeling neglected, being neglected. It's time for you to take charge. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very... I don't know. Typically, I mean, the emperor typically uses their head over their heart. They don't, they don't, you know, they don't focus on their heart. This is somebody that is very decisive that is in a position of authority and, and remains in that position of authority and uses their head over their heart. Maybe that's what you need to do because you have a big heart, right? So maybe you need to use your head. Maybe you need to use your head over your heart. You need to take charge of your life. It's time to take back control of your life. You need to take back control of your life. I know that you do. You need to take charge. You need to take ownership. You need to take control. If you are an unhappy foundation where this is not what you asked for, it looks like it's a nightmare. The four of wands reverse and the star cards reverse. This is, this is like a nightmare. This is not what I asked for. Something to do with the home or the business. There's, there's, there could even be some financial ruin here or a broken relationship. You know that this is just really not what you asked for. It's not. It's not flourishing. You need to take control. You need to take control of your happiness. You need to uh, go after wish fulfillment. Don't be a victim. It's like you're choosing to allow yourself to be a victim to these circumstances. Why? 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 Because you don't know your value.
strength. It takes strength and courage and willpower and determination to let go. You need to find your courage and your confidence and your willpower to let go. You need to let go. You need to remit. You need to control your emotions. You need to master your emotions. You need to be the master of yourself. Right? You need to take control. Take control. This is about control as well. Empress. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. We also have Leo here. We have Aries. But the Empress is the birth of a new life, okay? You, 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 have the, you can create your new life, okay? The Empress gives birth to a new life. She creates life. This is unconditional love, okay? There's unconditional love here. But it starts within yourself. And it comes after suffering because the Empress doesn't become the Empress without suffering, without pain. Very, this, you gain a lot of life experience from suffering. The Empress, she is the giver of life. This is the birth of a new life. You're going to be giving birth to a new life, but it isn't going to be easy. It's going to be painful. We did have that Three of Swords. But it's going to take strength and courage to create this new life. The strength card came first. It's not going to be easy. It's not. It's not. And it may mean uprooting. The four of wands reversed is uprooting. It's like changing locations. It's right. It's like things are not. This is a very messy, messy, messy situation. Hmm. King of Swords, reverse. You could be dealing with somebody that is abusive. This is abuse. This is mental abuse. This is not logical. A bully. Maybe you're dealing with a bully. This is somebody that is mean, that challenges you on a regular basis. This is an abuse of power. This is somebody that is rude, that is clueless, that is arrogant, that is violent even. I don't know if you're dealing with This is abusive energy. This is somebody that is power crazed. And I feel like you're not being logical. You're not being logical at all. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. We also have Taurus. We have Libra. Again, we have Leo. We have Aries. We have Aquarius. We also... We have Taurus again, but this is God, okay? This is a direct connection to God. There's a higher power involved okay some of you really need to listen to your gut you need to believe you need to believe in yourself you need to have faith this has to do with a commitment a marriage a wedding there could also be an upcoming get together you know uh, there could even be a separation this could be a, a the end of an engagement okay I'm just saying with the four of wands reverse this is like a cancellation it could be a cancellation of an, of an of an engagement we also could have a funeral here there's something about marriages, funerals. Um, you could be attending a get-together in the future that um, I don't know if there's a painful separation with that Three of Swords. Could be a funeral, I suppose. With the uh, Hierophant card, this is funerals, marriages, commitments, organizations. But this is also guidance, guidance from above. There could also be, you could also be getting some guidance from somebody that is very, very spiritual. You could also be getting guidance from your gut, from your intuition. You really need to listen to your intuition. Believe in yourself. Follow your own path. There's a higher power that is guiding you. It's trying to guide you. It has something to do with a mother. I just looked at that Empress card again. That is mother. And then there's abuse underneath it. Oh my God. Somebody was neglected. They were neglected as a child and it's affecting their relationships. Maybe they were abused by their mother. Maybe they didn't have a father. Maybe there was an absent father here.
Anyhow, I feel like you don't know your value. You need to take charge of your life. If you're in a messy situation, you need to find your strength and your courage and your confidence to get take back your power. Somebody has taken your power away. It's like you're, you're feeling powerless. You've allowed them to have your power. You have, and you really don't know your value. Take control of your life. Master your emotions. Take control. Take the reins. Take, break free from this situation. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. Nurture yourself. Be your own mother and father. We also have a perfect match here. We do. We have a perfect match here, which is your soulmate. We have the emperor and the empress. They're both upright. These two are meant to be together. They are a perfect match. This is a soulmate. It says calling in your soulmate. It feels like you're, you're not with this person yet. You're not. Because right now you're in a foundation that looks to be not wish fulfillment. Don't look like wish fulfillment. Get the four of wands with the star card reversed. The four of wands reversed. That's, that's an unhappy home. It's an unhappy foundation. This is, I wish I never would have got myself into this. And the only way to get out of it is for you to, to jump over that wall, right? You gotta take control. You gotta, you gotta find your strength and your courage to deal with any abuse or adversity or conflict that comes along the way and if it means that you even lose some money then who cares about the money if you want a new life a beautiful new life I mean the Empress it, I mean come on now that's beautiful okay so you have an opportunity for a beautiful new life but you're gonna have to deal with any opposition deal with any challenges do you deserve to be penned up? Do you deserve to be alone? That that unicorn or whatever it was, was alone. Do you want to, be, even when you're in a relationship, you can be alone, okay? And there is loneliness here. There is going to be parting ways. There is going to be parting ways. And I think that in, with the Hierophant, that's highly intuitive. There's a higher power involved that is guiding somebody out of a situation. And I feel like you know, you know that, I think that you know that this has to happen, but finding the courage to allow it to happen, that's a big thing. It is a big thing. You know, it's painful. It's painful to create that new life. It's painful. And I feel like there is going to be challenges along the way with that King of Swords reversed. You're dealing with somebody that, I don't know if they're going to try to try to take you to court or they're going to lie to you you know maybe that's your worries there's fears you know don't worry about it as long as you act with integrity you don't have anything to worry about you are going to be challenged you are going to be challenged by somebody somebody's character is being challenged right now there is a perfect match here And it's like, why is this happening with a star card reverse? Why is this happening? It's happening because there's no unity. You know, there's no unity. There's no, there's no, it was like, it was, it was, I think somebody got into it because they were in a victim mentality. I'm looking at the five of pentacles. Now they were feeling it's in the past. They were looking at, they were feeling abandoned. They were feeling neglected. They were look, it's like the blind leading the blind. They're looking for anybody to take them in and lead them. And they, they, they just followed this. It's like they allowed themselves to follow somebody that was weak. Why is this happening? There's going to be upheaval. I believe there's going to be upheaval. This is not successful. Star card reverse. There's upheaval on the home front. There's trouble in the par in paradise. There's money problems, financial issues, um, abuse, mental abuse, verbal abuse, neglect. We have an unhealthy relationship here. And it's almost like, it's like almost like feeling ashamed, feeling ashamed. It's like embarrassing. Who cares what anybody thinks? That's your ego. If you're worried about what other people think, then that's your ego. 
you are going to be parting ways with somebody. Somebody that is abusive. This person is mentally abusive. This is verbally abusive. I feel like you're going to find your strength to give birth to that new life. I do feel like that is the case, even though there is going to be challenges. There is somebody here that is going to be challenging you. They are. Your strength is going to be tested. Your courage is going to be tested. But you, I mean, the Empress is unconditional love in your future. It's the future card is the Empress. The Empress is glowing. She's beautiful. She's, she exhibits love. You know, she's the goddess of love. She receives support from everybody. Everybody sees her strength. They see her beauty. They know that she's been abused too. Messages. We have messenger there. So there's going to be something that is going to be happening. This is messages. This is increase. This is movement. Somebody is, is going to be moving very, very fast in a new direction. Increased movement. Things speeding up. There's messages going back and forth. You may have somebody here that is communicating with somebody else already letting go letting go in an abusive situation there could be a loss of money here I just got to be honest somebody may be losing some money because of whatever this change is it has to do with the roots it has to do with the family Mother, father, children. Because we have the mother and we have the father here. We have a per perfect match. We could even have a reunion. Two people may be reuniting. Two people that are meant to be together. We definitely have a situation that is coming to an end. This is the death of a situation is the end. This is the end. There's no going back. So something is ending. It is. This is a this is a mental or physical collapse. It is the death of a situation. This is giving up. It's over. It's goodbye. It is goodbye. So there is a goodbye here. Somebody is going to be finding their strength and their courage to make a big, bold move. I do feel like it's a big, bold move. There's definitely a soulmate connection calling in your soulmate. And then we have the emperor and the empress. I mean, there is a soulmate connection here and that's all there is to it. So, good luck.